Hi guys, it's Jez here from Windows Central, and today we are taking a look at the Fluent Design Xbox dashboard. Stay tuned. So hi guys, it's Jez here from Windows Central, and it's currently 4am in Germany, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, but I thought I would record for you a quick hands-on demo with the new Xbox dashboard. Of course, this is part of the Windows 10 Full Creators Update, which is going to bring fluent design elements to both Xbox One, Windows 10, and all the various Microsoft apps that are out there. This is a fairly significant design overhaul for Xbox One, which is why we're going to have a quick run through what's changed, what's new, and what is still the same. So the first thing you'll notice, of course, is that we've got this new accent color sort of highlight when we're selecting things. There's like a little glow, and that's based on your accent color. My accent color is red, which has made the accent the accent border kind of pinkish. Not sure if I'm a fan of that, but you know, this is the first build. I'm sure Microsoft will change it if I cry loud enough about it. But uh, yeah, that's the first thing you'll notice. Um, as usual, the, the most recently used apps are sort of here, these four blocks. They're interspliced with a couple of ads, which I'm not sure I'm a big fan of, but what can you do? Also, the, the top part of the dashboard is now this sort of huge scrolling banner thing, you know, where you've got like uh, the launch game button here, but then the next three items are basically more ads to try and get you to engage with Xbox Live. So you've got suggested friends, don't know who that is, so I will never ever add them in a million years. So I wish I could remove that button. Uh, Jet Life, join now. I don't really play Ark Survival Evolved, so I don't know why it's asking me to do that. And also there's an ad there for Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is just wonderful. So yeah, a lot more ads on the home screen. <laughs> Not a fan of that. I can't say I am, but what are you going to do? One thing I am a fan of, however, is that there are new content blocks below the main dashboard, which can be edited at will. For example, if I press start on this and I go to add to home, that has now created a content block dedicated entirely to Pillars of Attorney, which is an upcoming Xbox One title. Um, obviously, oh, crashed there or something. Let's try that again. Right, now it's loaded. Obviously, this is the first build of the new the new Xbox Insider Wave, so there's going to be bugs and issues here and there. So, basically, I'm into Pillars of Eternity. It's an upcoming Xbox One RPG. Uh, it's already available on PC. It's very, very cool. Um, but basically, what you get is it generates these sort of intriguing content blocks which pull in most recent achievements and also the game hub for that game as well and it's got this scrolling parallax effect on the background which is very very nice indeed if we pin a game that's more popular well not more popular but a game that's actually established because pillars of eternity isn't even out yet um let's pin okay let's pin battlefield one to the home screen so i pin battlefield one add to home and then I will go back home with the new guide, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. So yeah, now we're back home. And if I go down to Battlefield 1, once that's loaded the content block in, see now this has a lot more, this has a lot more information than Pillars of Eternity, because as I say, Pillars of Eternity isn't even out yet. So Mr. Vanilla Mr. T-Rex, I'm guessing, is a YouTuber or something like that. Um, it doesn't give me a great deal of information what that is, but you know, let's check it out anyway. Oh, okay, so it's a game clip from Battlefield 1. Seems to be very popular. That was that. So, popular game clip. Might be interesting to watch and that sort of thing. Also, you've got uh, suggested achievements. So, most common locked achievement is Friends in High Places. Complete Friends in High Places. Uh, apparently, I haven't unlocked that. So... Uh, so it's basically Xbox is scolding me here for being a noob. So <laughs> I can find a group to do this achievement or I can go to the game hub and uh, that sort of thing. Now, if I if I get bored of Battlefield 1 and I want to move on to a different game and I don't want this pinned here anymore, I can press Y to edit the block and I can delete it. It's as simple as that. Same for Pillars Attorney, highlight, delete. And then I'm left with the pins, which is pretty cool. Now I can add extra pins as usual move them around and that sort of thing and uh yeah it works exactly as you'd expect however it's just jumped me over to the store which i 
I don't know why it's done that. I don't have a clue. Oh, it's because I've got a pen that isn't installed. Okay, let's just quickly install that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the new the new home screen. You can can you pin apps? No, you can't pin apps. But I'm I would guess that eventually you will be able to pin apps. Oh, that's interesting. Look. Now the suggested friends thing has gone away. And it was showing me a game installing. So that was an interesting little feature there. Uh, and also giving me tips on how to block and mute inappropriate players. Well, I appreciate that, Xbox. I appreciate it very much. So now one of the other important aspects of this update is the new guide menu, which you can see here. We're no longer vertical with the guide. We are now horizontal with every single menu displaying across the top in this horizontal fashion. You can switch through the shoulder buttons or the D-pad or the joystick, and it feels kind of similar to the classic 360 blade style guide, which uh, many people have fond memories of. As far as content goes, there's not a great deal new here. You've got the sign-in menu, achievements, a multiplayer for starting a party or looking for a group. You've still got your people, your friends list, which also adds clubs and suggested friends and that sort of thing. Uh, the home, the home page, which also has quick access to pins, store, and your games and apps. And you've got your communication tab, which has all your messages in, and also broadcast and capture. Uh, now this is slightly interesting because it's got the Mixer logo down at the bottom, so it makes me wonder if Mixer is eventually going to be a place where you can upload your Xbox game clips. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? You've also got the Action Center, which uh, functions similarly to the Windows 10 Action Center, actually, where it's, uh, it sort of passes all your, uh, your notifications and that sort of thing. So uh, if I had Read It installed on my Xbox One, um, any messages I got from that app would appear over here which is fairly nice. Now another thing you might have noticed is that uh, there's there's an extra step to jump through to access some of this stuff. Rather than appearing in a big list like uh, the friends list does on live right now, it gives you uh, an extra button to press. Now, I'm not sure exactly why they've done it that way. I guess it's because they want to limit the amount of stuff that you see straight away when you select this tab. But it, uh, it's lightning fast, and this is one aspect of the new dashboard that does seem to be very well polished, and it is very fast indeed. So I don't think uh, that's going to bother a lot of people. Now, one of the last things that has been updated in this preview wave is the new community section. Now, um, the new community section picks up fluent design elements, as you can see from these transparent blocks up the top here. But the biggest change is that it's no longer this huge unwieldy column full of stuff that you know is just impossible to scroll through now you've got these sort of blocks of content which uh, you know it gives you a, a much broader overview of what's going on on xbox live you know it shows you much more content on a single screen than the previous uh the previous activity feed did which is pretty cool you can filter this as well as usual refresh it or get a quick access to your oops get quick access to your game captures over here like so also clubs trending and also the share button very important button that one now when you do click on one of these it gives you this a full screen experience which is a uh, pretty interesting um, I'm not sure how many people are gonna actually sit there and browse through tons of achievements but I guess um, you know maybe it will make it more more in more highly engaged i don't know but that's that's the name of the game here is that it's all about trying to get people to engage with the dashboard and the achievements and that sort of thing see now this still seems to be a work in progress because for example uh gigantic have posted an update here um which basically tells people that if uh if there's 1.2, uh, 2.1 billion guardian damage in one week. They will, everyone will unlock an exclusive Mozo skin, but the background is just completely black. And uh, I guess there's a there's a link there to Microsoft Edge, which is cool. If you press down, you get like more achievements, which is also cool. Uh, more comments, sorry. Bear with me. It is 20 past four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you get loads of comments and you can browse those a lot more easily than you could with the existing 
with the existing one. Also, there's this uh, acrylic background going on, which is pretty fluenty, shall we say. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the new dashboard. Um, obviously, this is a work in progress, and they're going to be adding more stuff down the line, and also things like uh, the speed of uh, populating these blocks will probably be improved but you know it's early days yet and it's already looking very promising indeed and also please microsoft fix that pink color i'm, I'm confused right now but uh <laughs> other than that it is pretty cool um the speed overall does seem faster any speed hiccups like like that will probably be improved with newer builds but the uh, the philosophy just behind this dashboard update is very, very cool indeed. And it'll be interesting to see how content blocks evolve over the coming months. If you've liked this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you do have any questions about the dashboard, drop them below and I'll try and get them answered for you. Or send me a message on Twitter at Jez Corden. But yeah. That was the new dashboard with Fluent Design. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.